So in the kitchen you need lots of stories, but you also need stories with character and st uh, stories that also tell a, a really good story about the kitchen and just and just impart some of your some of your personality as well. Um, so what we've done here is to create almost like a display, but at the same time it's been really functional in terms of how it's been used. So we've got a big cupboard here and then on top of that we've got uh, an old two drawer uh, cupboard that sits on top of the larger cupboard and then on top of that we've got little tins and the tins are all full of stuff the kids have got some of their stuff stored in there um, so yeah tins like these are old tins uh, so these are mantle tins um, mantles are the little wicks that are used in lanterns and and gas lanterns second thing is you can see up here we've got these old round tins there's a cereal tin which i think is, is obviously british and then an old cake cake tin and then we've got an old indian storage tin and these would have been used for storing grains uh, back in india and um, they, they open up just really really simple really kind of rudimentary tins bashed um, painted several times um, and these can be used for things in the kitchen you could open it up and put kitchen utensils inside um, we've got batteries stored inside this one um, so yeah just look to extend and look to go upwards with your storage but also make it make it as as as, as characterful as you can really obviously we use this large cupboard for storing as you can see um, cups it's an old drawer that would have been in a larger unit and all we've done is to put a handle on the other side to create a, a, a carrying um, crate. We don't have any drawers in, in the kitchen per se, apart from the little ones up there. So yeah, we've created storage that can be moved around uh, the kitchen or taken outside uh, in a simple little uh, teak tray like this. These are old um, uh, traditional tins from Rajasthan. Um, I'll just put them up here. So they're perfect for a kitchen. Uh, they could be used for anything as anything as, as uh, wide ranging as, an, as a plant pot like that. Um, it can be used for storing cutlery again, so you can pop those inside there. Uh, pop those on your dining table, and then you've got a, a cutlery storage tin. Lots of different uses for those. Um, they come in a handy set of three. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, again, if you've got extra wall space, um, you can see how I've created a, a glass cabinet here with all sorts of old um, aeronautical uh, memorabilia. You could do the same thing with an old printer's tray. Um, so that, for example, could actually, I'm just looking up, that, for example, could easily go up there. And inside here, you could just put little mementos, little memories from holidays, trips away, artwork your children have done. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yeah, old crates again. You see, again, we, this is about 170 centimeters high. And what I've done um, to create even more stories higher up is to, is to have an old crate. So that's an old um, corn flour uh, crate there, probably from about the 1930s, 1940s. Uh, that allows us to uh, uh, have extra stories and we've actually got stuff hidden away from the children up there that they can't uh, easily access. So yeah, we've got lots of items, lots of different types of things that would be suitable, not necessarily primarily or originally used in the kitchen, but things that could easily be moved into the kitchen. Have a look at the website and you'll find plenty more ideas and plenty more inspiration.